Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Hello Basque, and today we have a very special video for you. I am in Bilbao with my friend Bart Farrell. Hi. Resident <laughs> American. Today we are talking all about kind of things tourists should know about the Basque Country before you come here. And I've asked Bart to join me for this video because, well, I'm here, first of all. So we very rarely get to meet in person. But um, Bart is actually an American who's been living in Bilbao for how many years? Eight years now. Yeah. yeah. So this guy is the expert, really. I'm just a tourist with lots of questions. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured I'd invite Bart to come tell you guys a little bit about that. Bart also has a YouTube channel called Contatu with his partner, Josheba. And I'm going to link to that in the description below so you can check it out. But can you tell us about Contatu and what you do? Yeah, for sure. Well, basically, as you said, like I came here around eight years ago. And I wouldn't say that I discovered the Basque country. I would say the Basque country discovered me. Uh, I met my wife, who's Basque, uh, 10 years ago in Egypt. And then we moved here eight years ago. So after a while living here, my, my friend uh, Yoseba and I, at first we started to make videos to try to show people how to learn English, because as you know, for some people learning English here is a bit of a challenge, but um, which also means it's a great place to practice Spanish, Basque, or French, depending on which part of the Basque country you're in. So we decided that, you know, there weren't a lot of people really making, you know, videos or cultural things about cultural stuff that was going on here. So we decided probably about four years ago to start doing that. And so far it's so good. It's been a good experience. We're not doing this 100% professionally, but it's a very nice way to be able to show people back home, uh, you know, where I live and that this is a really, really unique place. Awesome. Mm -hmm. For the people who are watching this video, what's the number one thing before, say, an American is coming to the Basque Country, like what should they know before coming here? So the first thing that people should know before they come here definitely would be that the Basque Country is very different. If you think that you're going to Spain to see women with flowers in their hair doing sevillanas and eating paella and drinking sangria, you're wrong. And if you think you're going to see a mime with a baguette under his arm and a beret, you're also wrong. It's neither Spain, it's not France, it's somewhere in between, and it really has its own identity. To talk about what is the Basque Country is a political question, it's very complex. What I would say it's more of a cultural question and really depends on who you talk to. Because uh, some people will either feel more Basque or less Basque. We have a lot of diversity in a very, very small place. And I think that's something that has to be appreciated and something that has to be seen firsthand. That is a great explanation. If you want to hear my explanation, I did a video all about what is the Basque Country. That's also linked in the description below. But basically a big thing that I hear from people is when they come to the Basque Country, people are confused about the Basque language. They see the signs, mm. they don't know what the K's and the X's are about. So like, what can you tell us about the Basque language? Good. Well, the Basque language is, is quite mysterious. Um, you have many different Basque languages, we could say, or dialects. I also have to be careful about how I express that. That is something that's quite tricky. Um, but basic things that people can learn that you can use everywhere is basic greetings, like aupa, which just means like hello. It's kind of like saying long live so-and-so or you. So you can say aupa and then someone's named after that. You can also say it really loudly with a lot of a lot of force. Aupa! That's kind of nice. You also say kaisho, which is to say hello. And then another classic uh, word is to say goodbye is agur. A little bit more challenging is to say thank you, which is esquerricasco. Um, esquerricasco, yeah. to say it slowly. That's a bit tricky, but it's, it's a nice thing. And a little bit of Basque goes a long way. But like I said, in terms of where you will see Basque and hear Basque, you'll see it, like you said, in a lot of places, on street signs, on buildings, on things like that. But in terms of where it's spoken and how it's spoken, that's a little bit different. So people are confused about the Basque language, but also a big reason that people come here, mm. you know this, you know this, we all know this, people come to the Basque country to eat. Mm. Basque food has just gotten super popular in yeah. the last few years. So what can you tell us about Basque food, what people can expect to eat here? Wow. Somebody once told me that there are three conversations you can have in the Basque country. One is what you ate, another one is what you're eating, and the last one is what you're going to eat. I learned this very, very quickly because I lived with my mother-in-law for two years, that food is the most important language and way of expressing kind of everything. And a lot of things revolve around meal times. You'll see that around three or four o'clock, the streets generally get quite empty because everyone's at home having lunch. Um, it's very common for people to go have pinchos um, during the day as well. And people have to understand, pinchos and tapas are not the same thing. Pinchos are things that you pay for. A pincho is literally a skewer, like the thing that stabs the food. And it's not the same thing as tapas that you would find in, in, in other regions in Spain. Tapas are more, are often for free if you order a drink or little side dishes that come along when, when something's been ordered. Pinchos are things that you choose individually. In some places you can just take them or you tell the waiter which ones you want and then they'll give them to you. So yeah, food is definitely a big deal. I would definitely do the research. And don't be alarmed by some things. Like one of the first things I, I had when I came here was uh, squid cooked in its own ink, yeah. which sounds horrible in English. It sounds much more charming in other languages, but now it's one of my favorite foods. So yeah, I would say just be very open-minded. 
A lot of things, if, you, if you're counting calories, this is probably not the place to go. Sometimes you think like, oh my gosh, all these people do is eat and eat and eat and lots of carbs and things like that. But people also try to balance it out with being quite active, going to the mountains, walking, hiking, etc. And I will say that we did talk, can I say where you live? Of how? course, eat! <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if you say want... My, you can say my block. 41 junto I'm like, I don't know if you want internet stuff. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. But um, I will say that, I mean, in this in this video, Bart does live in Baracaldo, which is right outside Bilbao. So, Pinchos is like a really big thing here, really big thing in San Sebastián, which is a lot of where people go. My family is from Iparralde, the French Basque country. And so, this is where doing your homework comes into play, because like, don't just watch this video and take it for granted that like what Bart said is Bible. You no, know, no, because, not at all. Because the Basque country is very diverse too. So if you go to Iparralde, French Basque country, it's a different food culture. Not so many pinchos, but um, definitely like I wanted you to talk about pinchos because like that's why it's people a, come here. It's a big, it's a really, really big thing here. But you're absolutely right, and that's that's. And I just want to clarify as well. I can only speak from my experience, which has been limited to the places that I've been to with whom the people with whom I've been in contact. And so really, a lot of this does depend on who you talk to. What I would say is that before coming here, it's definitely worth taking the time watching videos on Hello Basque. Um, checking out other resources uh, that you can find to get a little bit of background information. As we said, the, the politics, the cultural elements can be very heavily debated, can be very, very emotional, can be very, very sensitive, but it's definitely worth taking the time to, to get a little bit of background info before you come here because you can get conflicting messages depending on who you talk to. So that's why I wanted to have you on this video because like my experience, what I talk about on the channel is like very much focused on like Iparralde, where my family is from. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to hear your perspective mm -hmm. basically on another part of the Basque country that I'm not so familiar with the culture and mm -hmm. you very much are, Yeah, which is awesome. No, it's true. And, and as you mentioned, I mean like uh, living where I live in Barcaldo, there is a whole different set of subcultures of people from different areas, from different places. I mean, there's been various waves of immigration over time in the 20th century and now in the 21st. So all the different people who have been coming to the Basque country have brought their cultures along with them and so there's a fair amount of mixing that you see there too. What I would also say though is although it's very attractive to go to the major cities in the Basque Country I very much recommend use the public transportation it's amazing you can take buses you can take trains you have trams you have lots of really easy and affordable ways to get to lots of different places you can go to the coast you can go to the mountains all of that without needing a car and I would really really recommend seeing a lot of the world-class nature they have here. I know we're both from California growing up with beautiful places like Yosemite but there's world-class nature here as well too that I definitely recommend checking out. So what specifically would you recommend? Like what's your favorite Ooh. place that you would send people to in the Basque Country? And this is a tough question, right? Because yeah. sometimes there are places that you like so much that you almost don't want to recommend to okay, people. Okay, so your, you wanna, second you know, your, your second favorite place. Your second favorite. But I would definitely <laughs> recommend about 30 minutes by, by bus or 30 minutes to an hour by bus from here is a, is a town called El Orrio, mm. um, which is very, very near a national park called Urquiola, which I very, very much recommend. Gorgeous mountains, very, very green, very fresh air, uh, really, really nice countryside settings, and really good food as well. That's amazing. I'm gonna put that in my back pocket put because back I've pocket. never been there. So that was just for me. Thank you. Bart, how can people get in touch with you after this video if they're curious to learn more about Contatu? If people want to know more, yeah, I would just say either look us up on YouTube or also on Facebook. That would be probably the easiest way. And I'm happy to, to answer any questions about my experience as an American living here for eight years. I'm very, very happy here. It's a great place. And I'm really lucky to have been found by the Basque Country. Absolutely. Mm. Okay, so I'll link to Contatu's links kind of in the description below. With that, that's about it for this video. So thank you so much much for watching please if you like videos all about the Basque country like this one subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel we post every Thursday but in the meantime you can keep in touch with Hello Basque on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter at Hello Basque that's basically where I met Bart so you know we're big believers it in the works internet. it works it works so it please works. get in touch with us we love internet friends shout out to all my people in Northern California in the 707 and the 415 Bay Area I mean we're from the same place <laughs> I mean I'm in the 650 but it's okay we'll that's live okay. with it we'll live that's with okay it. so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much Bart thank you Esquerra Casco Agur Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Just awesome. Awesome.